All right. Welcome everyone to Brothers Forge Gaming. Got an exciting treat for you today. We got an unboxing of Boom! Soul Fighter on the Sega Dreamcast. Now, every now and then you find a game sealed and it creates that question, that dilemma. To open or not to open? What do you do, right? So, we're gonna go ahead and open this one. It does have, the shrink wrap is a little bit nicked, so it helped make that choice for me. So I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna do some gameplay. We'll take a look at it. Um, disc. Hopefully the disc is good. We'll see. Without further ado, let's open this guy up. It's coming. <laughs> oh man, I thought I got it better than that. Is that like what that was? Sticker or something. Alright, let's close that up. Don't hurt myself with that now. Alright. So yeah, as you can see, everything is intact. Very cool. We got the manual. We got the disc. There's some artwork behind the disc, which is always cool. I don't know if you can see that. It's not just blank paper. The disc is pristine. Should be. It's a brand new game. Uh, now, unfortunately, for whatever reason, this game, it's a beat-em-up, right? So for whatever reason, the reviews on this game suggested that it's subpar. So we're going to find out. Stick around, guys. Coming up next. So yeah, we got the manual, it's pretty cool. Um, not in color or anything, but uh, you know, you can see, you get some story. Uh, that's always fun when you get the story. A little bit of an uh, intro to the game there. It's gonna show us the characters, break it down for us, tell us what those guys are all about. You gotta enjoy that. You know, uh, we did an unboxing of Bloodstained a couple weeks back when that came out, and realistically, all you're getting is the cover art and the disc, which which is still cool, better than a download, right? So, um, but yeah, it looks like there's gonna be some different game modes: arcade mode, adventure mode. Uh, you can mess with the audio, which is cool. Um, huh? Interesting. So if you read the fighting system in here, it says that the melee situation, the speed of each move is determined by the movement recorded through motion capture, creating a real fighting environment. So whatever that really means, I'm not sure. Caused by each hit is determined by the following factors, which apply to both heroes and enemies. So they've, they've done some kind of creative fighting system in here. Let me just show you that. Oh, real quick. <laughs> so let's take a look at these power-ups. We got pig, chicken, you know, your usual meats. Horse? That's weird. Uh, anyway, hopefully, you know, I guess if you have a taste for that. But yeah, check it out. So it's showing you, maybe you can see that. It's showing you the fighting, the lighting's not the greatest, but yeah, the fighting system. So I don't know what that's all about. We'll, we'll look into that. You get some magic weapons. Shows you the enemies. Very cool. I mean, it's, it's a pretty detailed book for what it is. Um, and you get some credits and some hints. So yeah. Well, let's get into it. Let's pop that in there and we'll see what's going on. I, Valmec, King of Goma, shall tell you the tale of the blackest period in my kingdom's history. It all began when my eldest son fell tragically to his death at a hunt I had organized for his birthday. Overcome with grief, my wife and Tia and my youngest son, Phileas, were prepared to try anything to bring him back. They secretly turned to the forces of evil, believing they could defy death, and, blinded by my own grief, I did not discover their plan until it was almost too late. Horrified by their madness, I, to my profound despair, had to banish them from Goma. It was only several years later, when Phileas returned to the castle, that I finally grasped the extent of the turmoil which was to follow this tragedy. Phileas's presence stirred some painful memories, especially for Altus, my leading knight. My people informed me directly after the funeral vigil, Phileas had taken my dear Sedan's remains to Antia's chambers. Intrigued by this act, I decided to visit the Queen 
accompanied by my chief swordsman, Melchior, father of Altus. It was thus that I discovered my wife's dark intentions. And so it was that Melchior perished before his son's innocent eyes. I'd hoped Phelius would have come to his senses, but he was more determined than ever to get Sedan's body. Forgiveness was impossible, and yet again, I was forced to drive him from Goma. He looked at me with an evil eye and swore he would see to my downfall. I sent my royal spy, Sayomi, to follow his trail and discover any designs on my future. Dear Orion, our kingdom's wizard, gave Sayomi a magical pendant through which all that took place was revealed. It was thus we followed Siamese journey intently for many days, until, terror-stricken, we realized the might of Antia's power and of her threat to Gomar. All were shocked by the speed at which this wrath was consuming our kingdom. I was among the first of Antia's victims. Our salvation lay in the hands of Orion, who had saved Altus and Siomi. He explained they were to capture the souls of those under the spell in a magic fire and then, to reverse the curse, they were to return to where it had been delivered. So began the search for souls.
Continue. <laughs>